Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the demise of the President's mother, Sheikha Hassa bin Mohammed Al Nahyan. His Majesty expressed his deep sympathy, praying to God to rest the soul of the late Sheikha Hassa bin Mohammed Al Nahyan in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Number no. Six of 2018, appointing Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah bin Ali Al Khalifa an ambassador at the General Court of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Minister of Foreign Affairs is to implement the decree, which is to become effective on the day of its issuance. The decree is to be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the Ambassador of Saudi Arabia to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, who delivered a written letter to His Majesty from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, inviting him to the annual Grand Camel Race, which will be held as part of the 32nd National Festival for Heritage and Culture. The event is organized annually by the National Guard under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques in El Janadria. During the meeting, His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the Saudi monarch for his invitation, which reflects the deep-rooted bilateral relations. His Majesty expressed pride in the level of these relations in all fields. His Majesty also praised the role of El Janadria festival in maintaining the deep-rooted Arabian and Saudi heritage. He also noted the wider participation of intellectuals and researchers in the festival. His Majesty highlighted the continuous success of the festival's literary, cultural and art events and activities. He wished the organizers of the event success in reflecting the cultural movement of the, of the broadly kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the guests of Muharraq as the capital of Islamic Cultural Festival to greet His Majesty on the occasion of their participation in the festival event, which is held under the patronage of His Majesty the King. His Majesty expressed thanks to the Islamic Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, ISESCO, for its support to the Kingdom's projects and its cultural programs. His Majesty affirmed the Kingdom's pride in the selection of Muharraq as the capital of Islamic culture, which reflects its role in Bahrain's historic march and the richness of the humanitarian heritage that is derived from its Arab and Islamic identity. He added that Muharraq is worth the title for its pioneering role in many fields and its support to the role of Bahraini women in the Bahraini society. His Majesty noted that the Bahraini community is open to different cultures and religious without differentiation and that Bahrain is always keen on bringing people together and avoiding differences. He highlighted the cooperation between Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and ISESCO in the fields of culture and heritage, asserting the importance of ISESCO's cultural message and its pioneering humanitarian role in serving Islamic communities. The General Director of ISESCO, Dr. Abdul Aziz bin Uthman al Tawajri, presented His Majesty the King with the ceremony's shield. He hailed the Kingdom's development on advancements. The guests commended the kingdom's achievements in culture and heritage, noting Muharraq's rich history which has qualified it to earn this title.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace Russian painter Alexander Shilov, who presented His Majesty with an artwork. His Majesty the King thanked the Russian artist for the gift, praising his skill and his excellent and distinguished works of art. He also expressed pride in the bilateral relations and the strong ties of friendship that bond the Kingdom of Bahrain and Russia, particularly in the fields of culture and arts. His Majesty wished the Russian painter further success in his future future endeavors. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the demise of the President's mother, Sheikh Hassa bin Mohammed Al Nahyan. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Premier expressed his deep sympathy, supplicating for Allah's mercy and bliss upon the deceased. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks and appreciation from Saudi Interior Minister His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Saud bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The Saudi Minister paid tribute to His Royal Highness the Premier for his support during his recent visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain, which would enhance joint security cooperation. He hailed the Premier's keenness on expanding cooperation and coordination to reflect deep rooted ties and consolidated security cooperation in light of current challenges. He said that the Premier's keenness on the importance of strengthening security cooperation would be taken into consideration and implemented towards serving joint interests and bolstering security and stability. The Saudi minister praised His Royal Highness the Premier's statesmanship and deep grasp of challenges, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect him and bless Bahrain with security and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, over the demise of the President's mother, Sheikh Hassan bin Mohammed Al Nahyan. In the, ca in the cable, His Royal Highness expressed his deep sympathy, wishing the soul of the deceased eternal peace. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa represented His Majesty the King in the Muharraq celebration as capital of Islamic culture 2018 held by Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA. The Deputy Premier took pride in the selection of Muharraq as capital of Islamic culture 2018 by the Islamic Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organizations, ISESCO, which comes in recognition of its rich cultural diversity, genuine heritage and history in addition to its significance as a long-time hub for political, cultural, trade and economic activities. The Deputy Premier welcomed the guests of the celebration in Muharraq, which once was the capital of Bahrain. He pointed out the city's strategic location on the East Coast and the Pearl Trail, which is registered on the UNESCO World Heritage List. He expressed appreciation of the efforts of BACA President Sheikh Hamey bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the staff in accentuating Bahrain as a tourism destination.
Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa during the Government Forum 2017, which was held last October under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, Government officials today held a workshop at Isa Cultural Centre that focused on policies, legislation and enhancing. The meeting was led by the Deputy Prime Minister Jawad bin Salim Al Arayyad and saw the introduction of 10 key policies and 33 three initiatives. A series of coordination meetings were held to inform today's workshop covering key priority areas for the upcoming Government Action Plan 2019-2022. This included two coordination meetings held last week. Commenting on the outcomes of today's workshop, the Deputy Prime Minister highlighted that the workshop represents the commitment of the Government to ensuring a prosperous future for Bahrain citizens. He went on to highlight the role of modern regularity frameworks in supporting the government's strategic goals of accelerating sustainable economic growth and delivering promising opportunities for citizens. During the workshop, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, outlined five key policies identified during the workshop. He added that these policies will drive the implementation of 20 initiatives that aim to increase efficiency and productivity across government, encourage creativity, reinforce principles of accountability and transparency, and utilize modern technology and strategic planning. The Minister for Shura Council and House of Representatives Affairs, Ghanim bin Fadl Bainin, also highlighted five key policies aimed at advancing legislation in accordance with international best practices across policy areas including civil rights, justice and female empowerment. He added that 13 initiatives will be launched under these policy areas supporting the delivery of efficient governments and effective social development. The third workshop on public services and environmental protection is due to take place in February under the leadership of the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. Fruitful discussions and great collaboration in the workshop of the legislative themes and government performance resulted in the approval of 10 policies and 33 initiatives which represent first and foremost the future government aspirations aiming to fulfill achievements that impact citizens in all aspects of their lives and at all levels. Big step forward in enhancing the performance of the uh, government uh, and at large and the ministry uh, in specific. It will lead for sure to the increase of the productivity of the uh, employees and taking into consideration that the role and the services need to be uh, reviewed regularly. Strengthening the laws and legislations that will affect the women and the handicapped and all the, uh, the parts of the community that needs to be assisted. Today's meeting was a review of the outcome of the coordination meetings held on the basis of the views that have been completed based on the received initiatives, executive agreed upon actions, policies and future projects by the ministries and government entities related to the legislative themes and government performance. The workshop has achieved significant results regarding the uh, government route and the legislative route. Uh, both routes will be submitted to the House of Re uh, Representatives uh, to explore the governmental program in the forthcoming years. We are all here on the same um, uh, path, on the same agenda, working towards one single target which is the, uh, the citizen and I'm sure that this will really make a huge difference to the future of Bahrain 2030 or even, even beyond that. Great efforts are still devoted to developing the government action plan mechanisms and priorities to establish a solid cornerstone to match Bahrain's economic vision 2030, laying the foundations for economic prosperity and stability. Unity is strength, and when there's real cooperation, wonderful things can be achieved. And when we see the true collaboration in the government forum workshops, we know we're on the right track. Reporting for Bahrain International, Amhiba Abdul Ghafoor.
The Shura Council held its weekly session today, presided by the Council's Chairman Ali bin Salah Salah. The Council approved the latest session's minutes of meeting. It also approved a draft law ratifying the amended protocol to the Convention on the Avoidance of Double Taxation and the Prevention of the Tax Evasion for Income Taxes between the Government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Government of the Kingdom of Thailand. The Shura Council decided to approve recommendations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and eight of the Foreign Affairs and National Defense and Security Committee on the law regulating the registration of births and deaths. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met today with the Secretary General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC, Dr. Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Uthaymeen, who is currently on an official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Foreign Affairs hailed the vital role of OIC in defending Islamic causes and reinforcing joint Islamic action to face the challenges targeting safety and stability. He valued the efforts exerted by Dr. Al Uthaymeen to develop the organization's performance in order to achieve further prosperity for Islamic countries and their people wishing OIC further success. For his part, the Secretary General of OIC expressed his pride in meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and exchanging with him views and consultation on various issues of common interest. He also expressed appreciation of the important role of the Kingdom of Bahrain in strengthening the framework of joint coordination among Islamic countries in various forms, wishing it further progress and prosperity.